Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, it's not a detailing video. I've got a video I wanna show you guys how to check a two wire connection, which is a power and a ground. The easiest way to check that connection by using a regular old test light and a paper clip. Let's do it. Okay, so normal test light, what, you, what I use it the most for is for checking your fuses and stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you, if you if you start out with it on your negative, if you touch your positive, the light should light up. That, that tells you you have power. So if you go to like a fuse, of course we gotta find one that has power. Power, power on both sides, that means that fuse is good. That's the easiest way to check a fuse without having to pull each one out individually, just like that. If you need to check a ground, to make sure something has a ground, you connect to the positive and you're completing the circuit by touching a ground or what the ground wire that you're looking for. So I'm gonna go to the back of the car here in just a second and I'm gonna show you how I use the paper clip and it's the easiest and fastest way to check a two wire connection. All right, so my, our third brake light's not working. I've already done this. I know that the brake light's bad, but I wanna show you. April, go ahead and hit the brake pedal. I just heard it, no lights. You can let off. So this is the easiest way to, to test whether you're testing a, a light, a window motor, um, a blower motor, a wiper motor, anything that's a two wire connection with a power coming in and a constant ground. All you need is a paper clip and you can go and you can buy a test light kind of like this one for about mm, 10 bucks or so, a Harbor Freight or AutoZone or something like that. It doesn't matter which side you put the paper clip in. You're just gonna put it in and you're gonna clip. Try this again. Might have to hold this because this connection is not the greatest. And you're just going to clip it onto the paper clip. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this light whatever we're testing. So if we're testing a blower motor, this light is in place of the blower motor. We're just checking the circuit. And you're going to touch the other side. Now, when I tell her to hit the brake pedal, it should light up and that'll show you the circuit is good. Go ahead and hit the brake pedal. See that? Let off. Hit the brake pedal again. Let off. Right there shows you have power and ground. And that is the easiest way I have found to do it. Let me grab the, the new brake light that we ordered. Plug it in and make sure it works. It better, it's OE, it's original equipment. Hit the brakes. Yep, there you go. Brake light works. We're good to go, all I gotta do is put it back together now. So that was a really quick video. Um, there's really not a whole lot to even really explain when it comes to a two wire connection, how to test with a test light. Now you can also go in and find a ground for the test light and then you know poke the wire that you think is the power and see if it has power. But then that's not telling you if you're grounded. Just because you have power does not mean you have a ground, but you need a ground and a power to complete a circuit. So you could test the power, have power, and you're thinking, oh, why isn't that light working? Well ends up being your ground's not working. But by doing that with the paper clip, you're putting the test light in sequence, and with the test light lights up, your circuit's good. You got a good ground, you got a good power. It works on blower motors, like I said, wiper motors, uh, window motors, anything that has a two wire connection, you can do that with. Power in and ground is all you need. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If this I hope this helped you out. Um, test lights aren't that expensive. Paper clips you can find anywhere. Something you can do yourself. There's no reason to go out and pay a you know, in my opinion, pay a mechanic to do something like that little light that they charge you an hour of labor to do and the light costs, well, we paid $72 for that light on Amazon. So I wanted to make sure it was right. That's why I tested it. Cause I, I was pretty sure it was the light anyways, but I wanted to test to be 100% positive, just like I do at work. That way when I ordered the part, I was confident that the pair was gonna be done right. But you can do this at home by yourself. All you do, DIYers, simple, simple repair for anything that's a two wire connection. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Hit that little bell so every time I upload a video, you get notified and we will see you next time.